Welcome. This is just a quick update on the activity in our marketplace as we move through the spring season. If you remember, winter was one of the slowest periods we've had in real estate for many years. And as Madeline said in our September market update, the spring season is a fantastic time to sell as in what we observed was a continuation of the low number of listings in September, but around double the number of properties that actually sold. Buyer activity is outweighing the number of listings in a classic supply and demand situation, which is helping us to negotiate excellent prices for our sellers. So let's have a look at the suburbs in our area. In October, McDowell had 34 properties on the market with 14 of those selling, up from only six being sold in September, and that extra buyer activity helped bring a great top sale price of $925,000 for McDowell last month. It's also interesting to note that a property in Matthew Street in McDowell sold for $880,000, which is $85,000 higher than the previous highest sales price in that street. In Stafford, there were 36 properties on the market with nine of those selling, being triple the selling activity from September's three sales. The top sale price in Stafford was $750,000, which is a fantastic price for Stafford. That house on Nemoy Street beat the previous top street price of $670,000 by almost 25%, which is a really exciting indicator that Stafford is in high demand. Stafford Heights had 30 properties on the market and seven sales, which is fairly steady numbers. However, we did still have a market which favored our sellers and yielded a top suburb price of $810,000 and a new top street price for Farrant Street at 755, which is up from a previous top street price of 670,000. Everton Park was an interesting marketplace this month with a small jump up from 67 properties last month to 80 this month, but again, much stronger buyer activity meant that 17 properties sold compared to only eight last month. With a top suburb sale price of 675,000 and a new top street sale price, in Colbert Street of 665,000 compared to the last top street price of 580. There were some great results for our sellers in Everton Park. So after a very quiet winter period, the springtime rush of buyers came and suddenly there's a lot of demand for a relatively low supply of properties on the market. Buyers are competing with each other and driving up prices as you can see with these strong suburb records and new street records. Christmas is fast approaching and what we are experiencing at our open house inspections is that we are still seeing a lot of new faces. These are buyers who are only now just coming into looking at the market and hoping to make a move before the end of the year. So the buyer demand is clearly going to continue strongly for the next few months. This is a really fantastic situation for our sellers to get the best possible price out of their sale. If you have had any thoughts of selling, call our office today and we'll have a chat about how best we can help you through that process. I'm David Watt for Madeline Hicks Real Estate.